Hold on to your hats. It's gonna be a windy day in the city. My defining characteristic! Thankfully, enviably mustachioed action-adventure superstar Matt Finish will be live in studio to rescue us. All right, all right, settle down. What a pleasure for you all to see me today. My mustache thanks you. Let's get this over with. Okay, well, unfortunately for you, I must move on, though I've conferred with my mustache, and I have time for one quick feat of strength. What a mustache! Ah! Yeah, uh-huh, looking good. Where do you and your non-enviously mustachioed face think you're going? You really think you can compete with this? luck. Some of us are trying to break the law here. Uh, thanks? You're a real pal. <laughs> no getaway car, Hexa? I like your moxie. The easy way is rarely the best way. Buster. Hmm, the world. 
world is cruel and indifferent. Don't read into it, Maddie. Neither the easy way or the best way. Well played, Hacksaw. luck, some of us are trying to scale a building here. Welcome. How generous of me. This is a day to remember for you. Ha! <laughs> uh, Chief? What no time! A fellow firefighter is in trouble. Let's roll! <laughs> Fireman Buster Lloyd, who continues his citywide chase to catch a stray mustache. Exciting stuff, wouldn't you say, Craig? Craig! <laughs> There's a fire at the bank, or whatever. Sorry, Buster. All units to the bank! Pedal to the metal, Harl. I smell help being needed. Don't worry, Buster. I got a plan that should almost sorta work. Let me know if you figure out any way to land it.
but I only have eyes for Buster. Huh? I like you just the way you are. Oh. Huh? Okay, dudes, now that you've been made detectives, it's time for the big test, your first undercover assignment. I'm retiring in a few days. The only covers I want to be under are on my bed, in a tent, perched precariously on a mountain peak. Don't worry, sir. We've got everything we need. A rubber chicken, snowshoes, a melon wedger. Don't be ridiculous, rookie. We don't need a melon wedger. It's a luxury item. Focus, hombres. These counterfeit Mrs. Sugar's pies are flooding the streets, and we need to find the source. Oh, I love Mrs. Sugar's pies. The makers of these fake pies use artificial chocolate. Artificial chocolate? Those monsters! You two have your undercover story straight, right? Yes, we do. Now remember, being undercover is all about teamwork. And secrecy. Put on these way discreet high-tech microphones, yo. Yeah, very discreet. You just gotta fool these low-level crook dudes into giving up the mastermind behind these fake, mm, delicious pies. We call them the Pie Maker. Chief, you do realize you're eating the last of the evidence? All right, and collect more evidence. I skipped lunch. Mm. We know the plan. Go in nice and slow. Let's go bust some bad guys! Whoa! Wait, no! Oh. Here you go. Enjoy your pie. I am also here to buy knockoff pies. Lower your voice. You come alone? Oh, yeah. I'm totally alone. Rookie, I can't run that fast in pleather pirate pants. Wait a second. You know this guy? Um, no. I've never met this man in my life. Right? Strange man I've never met before? Strange man, I'm your son. Uh, ha, yeah. Wrong backstory. Just follow my lead. I want some pie, mommy. I'm not your mother, strange man. What? Trust me. You trust me. My mom lost her memory. She was hit in the head by an aircraft carrier. I'm not his mom. I am a baseball player, hungry for pie after scoring all those touchdowns. Wait a second. Baseball players score touchdowns? Um... The good ones do? Look, you two, if you want cheap knockoff pies, we got them. Can you say that into my chest? Hold on. Are you guys cops? No. Yes! Oh, shoot. <laughs> I thought you said you had your story straight, detectives. You dudes totally slammed that job. We got it under control, sir. <laughs> Take a left down this alley. I know a shortcut. The alley was the shortcut. I'll take Fifth Street. There's construction on Fifth Street. At least it can't get any worse. You should never say that. And that's why. That was a total disaster. You cost us our chance to get the pie maker. You really did. Me? He's talking to you. Dudes. Without teamwork, you'll never stick the landing on undercover assignments. I know from experience. Watch this. Okay, that's ten bucks for this beautiful, totally stolen watch for your lady friend. Ha! You're going to jail, bro! Chief Wheeler? Whoa, how did you do that? Acting. Rad undercover cops have to be rad actors, which is all about respect and cooperation. That's why you two are going to acting school. <sighs> all right, everyone. You're thinking, wow, I can't believe Chester Teagle from the hit soap opera Beach Hospital is my acting teacher. Well, believe it. Mr. Teagle, I loved you as Dr. Rich Goodlooks. Of course you did. So, are you gonna teach us to act? Because we've been here for an hour and all you've done is watch clips from your old TV show. It's grizzled, right? 
Let me guess. You're a waiter? Uh, sure. How about you stop waiting and come on up here on stage? Ugh. Rookie, join him. Oh, yes! Oh, come on stage, Mr. Teagle! I thought you were taking a term off, Todd. My schedule opened up. Lucky me. Well, I didn't call on you, so sit down. Now, one of the keys to acting is trusting your scene partner. This is an exercise called trust fall. Rookie, close your eyes, turn around, and fall back into my arms. Three, two, one, fall. <coughs> Perfect catch. Now, Grizzled, I want you to catch Rookie. Three, two, one. Ow! Sorry, I thought he was gonna say fall. No, uh, this time, Rookie, you catch Grizzled. Three, two, one. Oops. Son of a porcupine. Sorry, I needed to limber up. So far, you're terrible. New exercise. I want you to mirror exactly what the other one does. Nobody leads, nobody follows. You work together. And begin. Hey, we're supposed to mirror each other? You're not doing anything. Yeah, I am. I'm standing here. But I'm moving. You should be doing what I'm doing. Follow me. Maybe you should follow me and do nothing. <sighs> mirror me. Mirror me. Mirror me. Mirror me. Mirror me. Mirror me. Enough. In order to act, you have to work together. How about we try some improvisation? Awesome! <sighs> I'll give you a relationship, and you just make up the dialogue. Grizzled, you're a young rookie cop who's just joined the force. Rookie, you're a grizzled vet who's seen it all and is about to retire. I'm the rookie? And I'm the veteran? Yes, improv a scene. And begin. I'm a rookie cop. I'm just going to run into a crime scene without thinking things through and create more work for my partner. Well, I'm a grizzled old vet. I'm just going to take naps and complain. I'm too gung-ho and reckless. I move super slow. Maybe you're just being careful so your partner doesn't get hurt. Well, maybe you move fast because you want to impress your partner. Maybe your partner is already impressed. Maybe the rookie should heed her partner's wisdom and experience. I think you're a great partner. I think you're a great partner. And scene. Now that was acting. But we weren't acting. Exactly. That's what great acting is. Not acting. I want to cast both of you in the leading role in my new play, A Streetcar Named Brian. One man's journey into the dark soul of public transportation. We open tonight. Tonight? But we haven't rehearsed. I never rehearse. And I've got five daytime viewers' choice nominations to prove it. You said I could be the lead. You can play a tree, Todd. Yes! I already have the costume. You need a bus token, Brian. All I have is a sword and a harpoon gun. Tokens of man's cruelty. Then I can't let you on this bus. No! I said no rehearsal, but that was wonderful. Wait, is that a chef's hat? Whoopsie, it's from my day job. Uh, hey, boss, where do you want all this artificial chocolate? Hamlet's horseshoes. Uh, uh, places, everyone. Don't hog all the glory, guys. Todd wants a piece of that applause pie. Pie? Chef's hat? Artificial chocolate? Chester is... Making counterfeit pies. He's, He's the, the pie, pie maker. maker! Todd, cover for us. Well, well why? I, I, I... I... I started as a tiny acorn. My only friend, the dirt. Why aren't you two on stage? Oh, I'm dizzy. She's got low blood sugar. She needs something sweet. Here, have this piece of Mrs. Sugar's chocolate pie. No, I'm allergic to chocolate. Thus, I grew into a mighty oak. It's artificial chocolate. Mrs. Sugar uses real chocolate. Oh, no. Here come the loggers. Todd's ruining my play. Oh, cruel fate. Oh, just eat the pie. It's fake. Look. The theater is a front to make counterfeit Mrs. Sugar's pies. An actor can't live on soap opera residuals alone. I knew it. Busted. Chester Teagle. You're under arrest. Cops? Pretending to be acting students? I had no idea. I'm angry I'm arrested, but proud I taught you so well. Get him, boys! <laughs> the loggers! They're cutting me! <laughs> oh! Oh, yeah! Ha! We got 
Watch your mouth, Grizzled! <sighs> My movements, it's like I'm looking in a mirror. I'm so confused. Who's leading and who's following? I'm leading you two to jail. It is time to bring down the curtain on your life of crime. For a rookie actor, your stage combat skills are amazing. I learn fast. Ugh. Ah! Let go, rookie! I'm too high up! You've got to trust me! <laughs> That's the best reception I've ever gotten! Great job, dudes! You've got the Pie Maker! That's five-time Daytime Viewer's Choice Award nominee, the Pie Maker! I always have your back no matter what, Rookie. And I've got your back, Grizzled. Thank you. My partner and I appreciate it. It's not for you. It's for the tree. Excuse me. You're in my life. That tree blossomed right before our eyes. I got here as fast as I could, Captain Bennett. It wasn't an emergency, Lieutenant. I only asked to see you. I just hand vacuumed in here. <sighs> Lieutenant, we've built you a new car. Why? I don't need a new car. You've destroyed every single car we've ever given you. Don't be silly, Captain. That's Tommy's car. I borrowed it because I destroyed my car. <sighs> After much research, I think we've solved the problem for this. <laughs> Rad! I give it two wheelies up! Lieutenant, you need a car that's tough enough and smart enough to keep up with your style of police work. Duke, you wrecked my car. I've had it since my first day on the force. It wasn't just a car to me. You're in luck. It's new car day. <laughs> I don't want a new car. I want my car. Lieutenant, I notice sometimes you're not exactly tuned in to your fellow officer's feelings. A little more empathy could go a long way. I thought I was good at solving problems with friends. Cubby, I'm sorry. Don't turn your back on me. I'm your partner, Duke. Yeah, emotional problem solved. See? Uh, I can't see your flashbacks. Dooster, you know Dr. Wexler. Guten Tag, Lieutenant. I present to you my masterpiece. The most advanced police vehicle ever created. Complete with state-of-the-art interactive artificial intelligence, myriad tactical gadgets, and most importantly, 20 van cap holders. You'll be super hydrated, dude. It's the ultimate crime-fighting partner for the officer of today, tomorrow, and far into next week. This is the instruction manual. Lieutenant Detain, this new technology is very complicated. Luckily for you, I will now explain it in painstaking laborious detail. Blah, 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 Criminals! Time! The car's not ready! It needs time to sync with you, then reboot! Ah, this is a disaster! That actually went better than expected. Into the sewers. We'll cut them off. It's dark in here. 
with the hay barrel? Is there a small child in here? Small child, make yourself known. I am not a child. I'm the most sophisticated police vehicle in existence. Dr. Wexler said so, and he's smarter than anyone. And I see it's dark and scary in here. We're cops trying to catch crooks. If you knew anything about police work, you'd know the easiest way is rarely the best way. <laughs> Dispatch, my car is crying. I tried to tell you! The car hasn't completed its sync cycle. It's still in its early development stages. The AI must grow and evolve into being your partner as you learn to understand each other's needs. Wait, needs? My car has needs? Your tech is not helping with my police work. Uh, yeah, but no one's ever dared to question my... <laughs> See? We're okay. And we got the crooks where we want them. Duke has a new car, and it's fast! We can't let him ruin our plan this time. Ice cream truck, listen carefully. What's happening? This is the loud song. The song is too loud! I know! I love the loud song! Of course you do! Who doesn't love the loud song? But people are blocking the streets! Turn it down! Fine. What am I doing? Wow! I was so distracted! Thanks. So, where do they go? My radar is the best. I'm picking them up on a construction site on Caniff Street. Oh, that's helpful. Let's go. Look! I want fun tires! We don't have time. The bad guys are right there. I want, 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 I want. Uh. Should we wait for him, or...? I'm making an executive decision. Let's go! I want, I want, I want, I want, I want! Now, Duke, if you're a good helper, we'll come back and get Cubby. If you're a good helper and catch the bad guys, we'll come back and get fun tires. And some high-octane gasoline? Don't push it, new car. After them! Yo, how goes it with the new car, Dukinator? I think I'm getting the hang of it. He is not. We just got word the ice cream truck bandits robbed two other construction sites earlier. That? Look at us standing here. It's like a great new TV show. Science cops coming this fall. So, construction sites, huh? There's another site in .5188 kilometers. There is a 96.54% probability they're going there. Uh, yeah, th those numbers check out. We need to get there fast. Fast? I love fast! Check this out! <laughs> My sunglasses! I'm out of uniform! Take over! Yes! Finally! They're just below. Aim for the dirt! That looks fun. Can we go next? No. We need to finish the job. We'll come back later. Wow, you really are a good driver. Thank you. And I just did a permit check and found a construction site a block away from the company name, not Ice Cream and Truck Bandits, Inc. <gasps> Those devious crooks. Good job, new car. <sighs> you know, for the first time in my life, I actually feel like I have a real partner. Though I don't actually feel, I feel the same way, Duke. 
Okay, let's get him, partner. Hold on! We did it! My sync cycle is done! Time to reboot. Sync cycle complete. Goodbye. New car? Don't you quit on me, new car! Clear! Clear! No! <clears throat> this bust is for you, new car. Freeze! You're all under arrest! I don't think so, Duke! It's time we unleash the power of sibling rivalry on someone else! You'll never stop us from building a house for our mom! Wait, I get it. That's why you stole construction tools. You love your mother. She took care of you, now you want to take care of her. You went about it wrong, but your hearts were in the right place. Yes, exactly. You were listening. I feel so empathized with. So we can finish our mother's house? Uh, no. You're still under arrest. <laughs> New car? You're alive! I just needed to reboot after the sinking cycle. I'm now your perfect crime-fighting vehicular partner. Good to see you too, Duke. <laughs> and it's getting weird. Great bust, Duke. You got him. We got him. Sorry about your old car. I know it meant a lot to you. Ah, it's okay. I like this new one better. It has a steering wheel. <laughs> yeah! Well, new car, I'm looking forward to us getting to know each other even better, like real partners. <laughs> Whoa, I guess we already do know each other pretty well. Don't worry, Duke. I'll be here when you need me, partner. Hi, Tippy. Beautiful morning. It most certainly is, Lieutenant Detain. Back to work, huh? I hope those eight hours in prison taught you a valuable lesson about becoming a criminal mastermind who tries to take over the world, almost destroying it in the process. Right. What was I thinking with that? I'm grateful to return to my regular dormant duties, knowing my city is safe from me. Excuse me, Lieutenant Detain. Duty calls. Always a pleasure, Ms. Blumfeld. Enjoy your morning constitutional. What a beautiful day to destroy Sinclair's dreams. Hacksaw, were you able to infiltrate Sinclair's organization? Yes, Mr. Fendrick. My disguise worked for about 20 seconds. Then they threw me out. They said hurtful things and used uncalled for language. There, there, Hacksaw. That woman has no class, but we'll show her. They go low, we drop yucky stuff on them from above. What did you learn in that 20 seconds? As my secret photos show, Sinclair got approval from Mayor Fleck to put a giant metal S in the park to honor the Sinclair family name. Over my dead body! Yep, that was the plan, but Sinclair decided not to wait. Sinclair! What? Uh, nothing! Never mind! Oh, I hate sharing a building with that woman. That S sculpture is an insult to other letters and the Fendrick name. Where's Vito? He's in jail for what we did to stop Sinclair's plans last week. Right. Who's my second in command? Me! Crut! We have to break Vito out of jail. No offense, but you're basically useless. Hey! I said no offense! OK, 
Okay, Hacksaw, what's the plan? The plan, Big Betty, is pure genius. Super Magnet! I have no idea what that means. Vito cell is there. We point a super magnet at the barred window and rip it from the wall. Vito escapes. We all stop Sinclair from putting her ass in the park. Simple. Huh. Super magnet. Huh. Makes sense. I'm in. What could go wrong? You guys line the truck up while I turn the magnet on. Okay, Frankie. Left, left, left. No, right. No, no, left. Left more. Too much left. Back, back. No, no, hmm. right. My present guard instincts tell me this is all perfectly fine. Right, right! But since I'm horrible at my job, I should probably call it in. Uh-oh, close enough, guys! Super magnet time! Gonna be the best medieval knight's armor store in the city. Better than Salans for less? Attention, all units! Something really bad is happening at the prison! Ah! Over! This is detained. I'm on it. Are you kidding me? Whoa. This is Gabby DeCamera at City Jail, where a daring prison break was foiled by what some describe as a flying silver blurry man thing. We've created a composite image of the so-called, by me, just now, silver blur, based on eyewitness testimony. Dreamy. Righteous, we have our own superhero, the silver blur. Cool. Respectfully, Chief, there is nothing quote-unquote cool about vigilantism. Civilians can't take the law into their own hands. Lieutenant Detain, why didn't you arrest this silver blur? Well, the scene was chaotic, Captain Bennett. Plus, honestly, I've never read Miranda rights to a blur before. It seems awkward. Chill out, El Capitan. Duke, if you find this silver dude, thank him for slamming a gnarly prison break. And arrest him. I'm getting mixed signals here. You're a rat as cop, Dukester. Trust your instincts. And arrest him. We don't need Vito. It's time I showed the boss I'm much more than basically useless. Ow. Right. So now what? I've got the perfect plan. Super magnet! Isn't that your exact plan from before? That was a total disaster? Sure, but that was for a jailbreak. A super magnet is the tool of choice for stealing giant metal letters from parks. Huh. Super magnet. Huh. Makes sense. I'm in. What could go wrong? Again. Ah, hello again, Lieutenant Detain. To be as a doorman, you pretty much know everything, right? Under this cap are secrets that would curl your toes. Do you know who the silver blur is? Alas, I do not, Lieutenant. Welcome back, Miss Blumfeld. I trust your stroll was invigorating. I assure you, if anyone around me was a superhero, I would know. Hmm. Go left! More left! Yeah, yeah, even left here! Left, left, okay, two left, right! Right, right, right! More, no, no, left, left, no, back, back! Left more, left, no, right, right! Enough, guys! Super magnet time! Frankie, it's Fendrick. Hacksaw isn't picking up. Where are you? Oh, good. What's the update? Do you 
consider the Silver Blur a hero or a criminal? That's a difficult, nuanced question, Lieutenant. Whomever this brave soul is, one would assume they believe in the inherent goodness of their actions. On the other hand, it is unwise to climb into the mind of the truly exceptional, as thinking differently is often a large part of what makes them exceptional. It's a silver blur! It's a silver blur! Okay, kids, one extra large sub sandwich to go. It's a silver blur! Units. Ah! Helicopter! Ah! Flying debris! Ah! All over city! Ah! Too many calls! Ah! Over. Excuse me, Tippy. That's my cue. Good luck, Lieutenant Detain. That silver menace shows up, you know what to do. Actually, I don't want to take any chances by being vague. Arrest him. Yo, Sir Duke, Wheelie here. If you see the insane blur dude, buy him an energy drink for me. <sighs> oh no! It's headed straight at the home for people terrified of helicopters. It's even worse than I imagined! It's a silver blur! What is that? It's what? a silver blur! You did it! It's a silver blur! I need a nice, long, 10, 15 minute cry, then you're going to jail. You read my mind! It's okay, uh, Mr. Blur. I saw what you did. You saved a lot of people today. And while I agree citizens should not take the law into their own hands, I'm gonna let you off with a warning this time. I hope you decide to put away your silver cape and join the police force. We could always use real heroes like you. Settle down, settle down. Nice to see such a big turnout. As you know, Harl Hub saved our city from an evil doorman. I'd be happy to help with that feedback, Mayor. Thanks to Harl's heroic helpfulness. He saved the whole city so all of us could get back to work. Okay. You're good to go, Mayor. Thank you, Harl. And so it is my honor to declare today Harl Hubs Day to celebrate the most helpful handyman ever, Harl Hubs. Harl! 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 Ah, yes, rhythmic chanting. Harl, why don't you say a few words? Thank you, Mayor Fleck. What an honor. This is the happiest day of my life. I've always dreamed of a day dedicated to helping, and today, I'm going to help everyone. <laughs> my canoe is leaking! Help me with my homework! I lost my marbles! Everyone, that seems like an awful lot of, can't believe I'm saying this, work. My fruit! Oh my. Let the helping begin. 
Helpful Haro here. Happy to help. You're all set, Nate. I also installed ear-blasting speakers and an earthquaking subwoofer while I was down there. Your radio should be plenty loud now. This is the loud That's song. Home. The Happy loud to help, Nate. song. Turn it up, up, up. Yeah. The loud song. Your turn, Mr. Producci. <laughs> Here you go. Thanks, Harl. I also put your fruit stand on hydraulics with a motion sensor so it will... To your ears! It's the only thing Thank you, Harl. My fruit stand will never get crashed into again! Uh, Harl? This old mower couldn't cut a stick of butter. The blades are too dull. I can help with that. Hey, Harl, I'm Little Hubert, and my fan's on the fritz. Don't worry, everyone will be helped. Hmm, I don't really have all the parts I need, so it's time to get creative. I know! I'll start by swapping the engines. All done. Little My tricycle's all bent. My jetpack is broken. My magic box is stuck with an audience volunteer trapped inside. Does anyone know what day it is? Wow, this is a lot of people. But it's what I always dreamed of, so who's first? I am. No, me. If I can't fly, then I'm just a weirdo in a rocket costume. And I'm just a guy with a crate. Please help the magician first. Uh, this is getting a bit overwhelming, but I'm sure I can handle it. Whoa. Uh oh. Ah. 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 Hey. I gotta get to work! Ooh. My toys are cool. Don't worry, everyone will be helped. Uh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> 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 Whoa! Um, uh, uh. Ta-da! What? This is a nightmare! Ta-da! Hey, Harl. My siren is acting up. Can you look at it for me? Ah! And my skateboard's wobbly. I've been doing a ton of gnarly and completely unintentional tricks. This is not going the way I imagined at all. Dude, my skateboard! What about my tricycle? And my jetpack! Ta-da! Reboot my computer! My spoon is slotted! You think you high-fi, Harl? The drawstring came out of my sweatpants! I can't... Harl! Where are you going? <laughs> I need help! Where's Harl? I think he went this way! Dude, release the hounds! <laughs> ever wanted was to help people, and here I finally have a day where everyone wants my help, and it was a disaster. Wow, I can't believe some of this stuff was thrown away. A lot of it is still good. This trampoline just needs new springs. Ha! And this old cubby doll, it just needs a little love. The easy way is really the best. Love and batteries. And this old tiny prospector just needs some vitamins. Ah! Who are you? I'm Cluster, Cluster Clam Pots. And I'll have you know, I take my vitamins every morning with my breakfast sarsaparilla. <laughs> and this here is Jowls. <laughs> well, I'm... Helpful Harl Hubs. We know who you are. Today's your day, after all. Harl Hubs Day. I've dreamt of this day forever, and now I can't wait for it to be over. I promised to help everyone, but instead, I just let everyone down. Well, when you try to please everyone, sometimes you wind up pleasing nobody. If helpful Harl Hubs can't help, then what good is Harl Hubs? Sounds like you could use some help yourself. But who can help me? That's a question only you can answer. Rusty bedpans! I thought I'd come out over yonder! Let me try that again. That's a question only you.
can answer. <laughs> What are you doing? Yeah, pickly porcupines! I'm trying to drop some mystical wisdom on you and then magically disappear, but I keep picking the wrong hatches. Hatches? Yeah, I've gone built secret hatches in underground tunnels to best traverse this here junkyard. <laughs> you see, a priceless treasure's buried somewhere on this site, and I've been fixing to find it for nigh on five years. You've been trying to find this treasure for five years? No, I've been fixing to find it. That's why I met this whole junkyard, collected supplies, dug all these secret tunnels, so I'm prepared to find the treasure. Oh, and find it, I will. Maybe I can help you find it, and... Never you mind my treasure. That's my business. You should be focusing on finding what you need here. I'm not going to find what I need here. It's just row after row, pile after pile of seemingly never-ending miscellaneous spare parts. I tried to give everybody everything today, but I didn't have everything I needed. I wasn't ready to help them. B-I-N-G-O bingo! The problem wasn't that I couldn't help everyone. The problem was that I wasn't prepared to help everyone. And the best person to help me get prepared is me. I can still turn things around from here. I got your toes! There, my workshop is complete. What do you think, Cluster? Cluster? Come down here, found the tunnel. Yeah, I'm okay, Jowls. A stack of radiators broke my fall. Now get going, Harl. You got helping to do. Hey, everyone. It's Harl Hubs. I'm in the junkyard. Come and find me. Follow the sound of my voice. Happy Harl Hubs Day to you. Happy Harl Hubs Day to you. Ah. It's a day to help everyone. There Happy is. Happy Harl Hubs Day to you. Please stop singing. My watch is broken. My dog has fleas. My computer is frozen. My pants are covered in mud. Can you make my radio louder? <laughs> what are you doing here, Harl? I just needed a little time to prepare. Now, if everyone would form a single file line, I'd be happy to help. Uh, thanks? Timbers. Ah, you mean to scoundrel. Stop sneaking up on me. Looks like you done fixed your fix it. I guess I'll leave you to it. I got treasure hunting to do. <laughs> Come on, Jowls! Helpful Harl's handyman hut is open for business. Ta-da! 